Hey everybody, it's uh, how to build a lake house in Valheim. I legit found a lake. There's a uh, video on it. I'll, I'll link that. I found a lake in my Valheim uh, map and I've been wanting to build a, a lake house on it for quite some time. So this is just me playing around with the uh, free mode camera. I never did that before, so I thought that would be a nice little start to the video. And then we'll get into the actual build itself and how I went through that process. <laughs> and so here it is, once again, just show showcasing the whole thing. And then now we're going to move on into the build. Alright, so I've gathered some materials to start us off here. And I'm going to build this very similar to the way I um, did the starter dock build. So I have my 4 meter pole here. And I'm trying to figure out what depth I can go up to because I want it to kind of be level with the water. Just to prevent any like issues getting in and out of the water or whatnot. Um, so I've, I've kind of set a little depth gauge here with that pole and that's about as deep as I could go without you know swimming pretty much. So now I'm playing around a little bit trying to trying to get the feel for it. That's a lot better right there I think and I attached it to this rock because I thought it was cool. <laughs> And now I'm going to extend out um, a few. I'm still playing around trying to figure out how I want to do this. This is everything I do, I don't know if you've noticed, is uh, me winging it. So I don't like draw plans or anything. And when I do draw plans, it's after I've already built something so that I can add things to it. And I've never shown you guys any of my like sketches or anything like that. But if you are interested, um, <laughs> let me know um, oh yeah I will link the um, starter doc video right now before I forget and that way if you guys are interested in that one you know feel free to check that out and you guys can see what I'm doing here so I'm, I'm toying around with different ideas I'm I'm you know adjusting things, trying to see if I want these angles or not. And don't worry, I don't play around too much uh, once I actually get going. But it's just this initial starting phase that always kind of kind of throws me off a little bit. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I'll let you guys just sit back and enjoy. And I'll pop in when I feel it's absolutely necessary to, to talk that way. You guys can you know, get with the video as much as possible. Um, another thing real quick is this video has been sped up um, to two times speed. And so I'm really not trying to waste anybody's time. It's just the fastest I could go while still being able to explain it and for you to see like clearly what's going on. So, all right, without further ado, I'll let you guys watch the video and just enjoy. Okay, so here I just want to highlight what I'm doing um, real quick, and I'm just alternating the patterns. This is a big enough build, uh, floor build, for me to really showcase that alternating patterns, like 
uh, checkerboard look. And I think it looks nice and it's a little bit more fun than a regular uh, floor pattern of just straight lines all the time. So anyway. I'd also like to highlight this feature right here, so I'm offsetting the uh, the roof with this. A lot of other builders use this technique to kind of give the building a little bit more depth. Um, so you just put these little one by one uh, meter posts or poles and just kind of attach them to the side pretty much. And it gives your building just a little bit of depth, but it makes it not as like, I guess like basic pretty much. It gives it more of like a 3D look. Um, another thing is that anybody can build this. This does not require, um, you know, anything beyond the hammer and the hoe. And if you really want the, uh, the stone ax or flint ax, um, it'll take a while to cut some of those trees, but anybody could build this at any point in time uh, because you can chop pine trees and get core wood with a flint axe or even a stone axe and everything in this build is completely like anybody can do it. So I'll let you guys get back to it and enjoy. When you offset the roof, um, it doesn't actually touch the sidewalls, so you're going to have to add those extra little braces to make sure that your roof doesn't fall apart pretty much. Um, I think I do it again here in a second, just to kind of emphasize what I'm talking about. And if this is too fast or, or whatnot, feel free to slow down the video on um, the YouTube settings to like 0.5 speed or or whatnot. It's gonna change my voice, but yeah, here's where I'm adding the uh, racing. Um, but yeah, it's gonna change my voice a little bit, but at the same time, it's gonna slow the video down for you to really like grasp all the different details and all the little things here and there. And Or you could just go back in general, um, take your time watching the video, go back as much as you need. Now every time I'm doing those little cutscenes, either I went to sleep or I am getting more materials. I don't want to waste you guys' time, like I said, so I I'm, I'm tried to cut this video down quite a bit. It was uh, It took about two hours or so to build this. So just keep that in mind with the little cutscenes and whatnot. And looks like our roof's about ready. So things are going to get a little bit interesting after this. So just pay attention, I guess, and, and enjoy.
<laughs> I don't know if it's noticeable, but I messed up on the corner that I'm standing on. It's a little offset, and I'm like, what is going on? And that's why I removed that one piece earlier. But yeah, now it's all fixed. It's all better now. And the reason for this upper roof is for the fire, so that, you know, rain doesn't put it out or anything. Um, but the smoke can still billow through and, and breathe pretty much, so you don't get all choked up. Alright, I just went mining for some stone. Um, I don't know if you noticed the pickaxe. <laughs> That'll come into play here in a second, you'll see. Um, now I'm just building myself like a, a little dock pathway um, so I can walk from the to and from the beach without any, you know, issues where I like fall in the water or something. Here I'm just leveling the ground, clearing out those like reeds that were poking through uh, the wood. And that's just purely for aesthetics. Um, no actual need for it. Don't need that ladder anymore. Now here's a nice little feature. Um, I don't know if you've noticed in my previous videos, but I really like central fire pits for some reason. So I'm going to be adding a central fire pit here. This is me also utilizing the alternating pattern to kind of, you know, just spruce up the uh, look of the building itself. All right, here it is. I've cleared a pathway, nice little square block here for the roof or for the uh, fireplace. Now, of course, you can't have fire without flat ground or without ground, so. Um, at least a basic fire pit, anyway. Making a little barrier. And now I'm going to place my fire pit. Alright. A little cook, cooking spits. Or cooking stations. Alright, so we've got a shelter, comfort level 4 at the moment. Uh, once we put in a bed, it'll be level 5. Just adding some sidewalls here. Nothing too crazy, just very basic little half walls. Now, I decided that um, I needed some sort of way to get up, just in case I do fall in. So. This is what I'm doing right now, is adding stairs. I'm actually adding a ladder right now. Um, but I'll change that here in a minute. And this is just to ensure that I can get out of the water, get out of the water if I need to. Um, and so like, this isn't really ideal, whatever was going on right there. So I'm gonna try on the other side the other um, like actual stairs and see how those work instead. There we go. And they work awesome. So I wanted to test that out again. And just added a third set just in case. And then I was like, oh yeah, I need to change these from ladder to stairs. <laughs> these um, snapping points are 
it helps so much with building. Honestly, it, it takes up so much time to try to like fit that stuff just perfect if you don't got a good snap point. But once you enable the different snapping points, it really just smooths the process so much. I needed to repair my hammer real quick and go to sleep. Alright, it's looking pretty clean. Not bad. Get rid of this fire pit. Don't need it no more. And now we're going to add some uh, 26 degree roof tiles here. To kind of just, you know, make it a little bit easier on the boat. Um, and for myself if I fall in for some reason. I'm going to do a eye corner here. So an inside corner, 26 degrees as well. Give it a nice like little, little corner edge to um, help the boat stay in line. I saw this on some other videos a long time ago, and I really like it. Um, it really makes your boat like land real smooth if you go straight in. And then I needed some more wood, and I decided not to take this part out because it's kind of neat. It's, and it sounds cool. <laughs> Alright, we've got a decent amount of wood again. Now we're gonna try to lower this ground here. Just to avoid any future issues with the. Um, I don't know, with the, with the boat, for instance. Now, I'm not sure how the big boat's going to fit in here just yet, but we'll see how that goes um, another time. The trip up here was actually really gorgeous. Like sailing through, I had to sail through two rivers to get here, and I did it all in the car right here, and it was just gorgeous. Um, the scenery was really nice. I just totally enjoyed the ride the whole way. It took me about 12 and a half minutes to get to this lake. Um, but the wind wasn't on my side either, so you know, there's that as a factor. Alright, so I decided that I wanted to um, expand this, uh, this dock so I could have like a bed and a workbench and stuff here. I know the water keeps coming up. Honestly, not really too bothersome, if that makes sense. Um, not something I'm really like worried about. Um, I don't plan on using this place as like a I'm gonna hang out in here every single minute of every day type thing, but I want it to look nice. I want to be able to sail in here, sail into port, and just enjoy my lake house uh, on, you know, the weekends or on a long break or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, so sorry. I don't mean to talk so much. You guys just um, just enjoy for a little bit. And I'll pop back in when I feel it's necessary.
I did forget to mention, like, if you ever watch any of my, like, how-to videos and you want to build the same thing, feel free to, like, try to build along. Um, I know sometimes the videos are sped up and whatnot, but, uh, just slow them down or, you know, rewind them or whatnot. It's, it should be pretty, pretty easy to follow along. I do minimal cuts. Um, if I even cut at all, sometimes I don't cut and I just speed up, um, or I don't speed up. <laughs> but yeah, most of my videos that are how-tos should be very easy to follow uh, for anybody. And I usually don't have them anything other than like beginner level um, type stuff. Like, like I don't need special tools or anything crazy most of the time. So. Yeah, just, uh, you know, really, like, if you want to do something similar, maybe change something up. And if you do change something up, definitely tag me or something. Either come back to my video, comment on it so I can see, like, hey, it's you. And then you can tell me, like, hey, I took your build. Uh, I like what you did, but this is what I ended up doing with it. You want to check it out and then like show me, like show me a picture or show me like a video. I'll watch it. Um, and if you're good, you know, I'll definitely subscribe. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. I'm all about supporting people. Of course, I would hope that you subscribe back, but you know, I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. So. Yeah, show me your builds if you, if you, like, I inspired you. Show me your builds. That'd be so cool. That would make my day, honestly. And be a good motivator for me to keep on going, because, you know, sometimes, I just, I don't know, the motivation's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> it's still there, but it's just, eh, sometimes. Right, we're almost to the point where I can go to sleep. So I gotta, of course, I gotta build a little wall here so the bed doesn't seem too exposed. Here we go. I'm not sure what the minimal requirements are for this. Um, I actually got stuck in the ceiling <laughs> right there and I decided to cut it for some reason, but that's why I'm moving the bed right now. Cool. Set my spawn point. And I think everything looks pretty good. I'm going to extend this um, roof out a little bit to cover these stairs. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, I had to get some more wood. So, now I'm going to build this side over here. I realized uh, upon reviewing the video that I didn't add um, the 4x4 four four beam uh, to this side for some reason. I just, I guess I just totally spaced it. But. It doesn't affect the, the look of it at all or the um, actual functionality. It's just an aesthetic thing, and <laughs> I'm a little a little upset about it now because I really like symmetry in my builds. <laughs> and so since I don't have that symmetry, it kind of bothers me. If you go back and see the other like wing getting built, you'll notice that there's uh, the 4x4 beams holding up these this roof on all sides and then on this one we don't have any of that <laughs> so um take it for what it is you know i would prefer the beams just just for my own sake honestly but it doesn't look different from afar so i didn't notice it Nice. 
nice and easy. Didn't take long to recreate that other wing. Because, uh, you know, as I was building the one, I built the other, and then when I got to a certain point, it was just basically like, hey, let me finish this one wing, and then I'll finish the other wing. It looks really good. Now I'm going to move some things around a little bit. Establish my new workbench area. I wanted to put it here at first, but then I was like, nah, the bed's over like on this way, so I wanted to kind of mirror the bed a little bit. And that way I can do something similar on the other side with these chests. Couldn't quite get this angle, um, so I had to sit my character down to change my angle. And then, voila, works great. Drop some miscellaneous stuff in here. on the other side. This one was much easier because uh, the angle is just, you know, slightly askew to the right from your third person view. And now to finish it up, I just want to build a portal so I can go back to my main base, um, to my uh, Dumblebore Inn portal hub ran out of video so I had a you know, clip right there. And sorry about the rain. Now we go to bed for the final time and I let it play through so you can read this neat thing if you can read fast enough. If not feel free to pause it. I thought it was a cool one. I think it's a new one. I've never seen it before. storm has stopped and we go up here to check out the final look of everything all right well if you like this please like subscribe comment share and i'll catch you guys later thank you